Football can be a tough sport, and all those hits can add up to serious consequences for your kids. Now there's new technology, though, designed to help keep them safer on the field, and ABC's Matt Gutman has the story. The hits, experts say, can have the impact of a high-speed car crash. Not just for professional athletes, but also for high school players back on the gridiron across the country. Now, a new wave of technology designed to identify those hits. We're all in the early stages of developing these tools. One company, Brain Sentry, says its sensors display a red light after potentially damaging hits, alerting coaches to evaluate players for a possible concussion. It can even log how many knocks a player takes in an entire season. One of the biggest risk factors for brain injury is the frequency that you get hit. Greg Merrill, Brain Century's CEO, says this technology won't stop the flow of the game because you still need quite a knock to trigger the system. Now, products like these are not going to stop the concussion epidemic, but if a coach sees a red light like this blinking, he at least knows to take a second look at a player wearing this helmet. These join other impact sensors in the marketplace, like Rydell's Insight, which reports results to a handheld device on the sidelines, and Shockbox, which sends warnings to an app. While Merrill says its sensors are now in the helmets of 100,000 athletes, from high school to college and even arena football league players, Loden Valley County School District in Virginia is one organization choosing not to use them. We vetted the technology as a district, decided the technology was not yet proven. That decision has parents battling with the school board. And we want this extra safety device to be made available to us. Parents taking matters into their own hands. We decided to purchase 40 of these devices Brain Century donated 80 so that we could put them on every single player. That didn't sit well with the district, resulting in players being told to remove the devices or sit the bench. Despite the stern warning, 24 players keeping the sensors, setting off a confrontation between the school, players, and parents. What we try to do at the district level is weigh all the best evidence we can find. Some experts say these sensors are a welcome development, but more research is needed. There's a step in the right direction. I just think that all these companies that are coming out with these sensors need a lot more evaluation. Putting these sensors on a lot of different ages of kids, different levels of play of kids. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News. And Riddell, Shockbox, Brain Sentry, they all tell us that their products are designed to increase surveillance of the players that have taken those hard hits not to diagnose concussions. They also say that years of research and data supports the need for sensors and that they do indeed work. Mm -hmm. I hope so. All right.